Hi everyone, just a small video today. I forgot to film this in the daytime. The lighting in my room is awful. The best place we could find is the bar slash JCR in Maudlin, so that's where I am. Hence the very interesting surroundings. <laughs> But today I wanted to talk to you all about my degree because a lot of people haven't heard of it. They don't know why I'm doing philosophy of science after I've done an undergraduate degree in maths or how I got into it. So I want to talk about my degree and how if you're interested, how to get started with it. So my official, the official title of my degree at Cambridge is History and Philosophy of Science and Medicine. Now, I am staying well away from the history side, not because it doesn't interest me, it does, but I have not done any sort of history since year eight, when I was about 12. That was the last time I did any sort of exam or writing about history. So I wasn't quite prepared to start again now. <laughs> um, so I've stayed fully within the philosophy of science section. Now, what is philosophy of science, you may be wondering. Philosophy of science is thinking deeply about what science means, why we do science. So, for example, the way that we do science currently, is that the best way of doing it? Are the things that we discover about the world true forever? Are they true, like, no matter what? Are there different truths? Um, is the way that we measure things right? Is maths an actual thing that exists that's part of the universe or is it just something that we've come up with to help us understand it? These are all sorts of questions that are tackled in philosophy of science and I find it really interesting because of that. Um, my research over the past year has involved the philosophy of time, whether time has a direction. I've looked at the consciousness of animals um, and as well as that I've looked at game theory aspects and how well those are used to inform policy. So it's been really exciting getting to do all these different topics and yeah, if you're interested in science in any way this is definitely something that you can look at doing. I got into philosophy of science from when I was doing my undergraduate degree in maths. Now, I always had liked writing, I'd always liked writing essays. Um, that had actually been my background before I even got into maths. I was much more of an English essay writing person. I really enjoyed doing religious studies at A level, which actually involved like quite a bit of philosophy. So when I came to Nottingham and in my second year there was a module offered called Philosophy of Science and it had a little blurb about what the module was about. I was like, wow, this sounds so interesting. I'm going to take this as my extra credits module. I took it and I loved it and I did pretty well in the essay that was set for it. And it was then that I started to consider that I might want to do a master's in this and study it in a bit more detail. Because now I love maths, but the stress of exams was really getting to me and I wanted to do something where I could write an essay over a longer period of time than get really stressed over these exams. So I'd taken it in my second year, then I started looking for masters that I could do in philosophy of science. Uh, Bristol offered one, um, Edinburgh offered a route into it, but not as a specific masters. Bristol looked interesting, but they didn't have any money to fund students or bursaries or anything. Um, Cambridge was one I was instantly drawn to because Cambridge has its own department in history and philosophy of science, a specific department set aside just for this, whereas most unis at most will just have it as a strand within their philosophy department. So yeah, I applied for a master's at Cambridge, um, I got in somehow, <laughs> um, and yeah, so I hope that that's cleared up a little bit about what philosophy of science is. The way I will quickly describe it to people in conversation is I did maths at undergraduate and now I can write about maths without actually doing maths. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the things that interests me the most, the fact that I can think these big deep questions that affect all of our lives, but I can also use some of my maths knowledge in it, or I could even look at things concerning theoretical physics, chemistry, biology, and because science is such a huge part of our lives, we rely on scientists for like a uh, source of reason, rationality, for a lot of our information in the news and stuff, we, we're all looking to scientists. So the fact that I'm able to research and think about 
you know, questions like, is it good to listen to scientists or should we, or how is science being done? Is it being done in a way that gives us these results? Questions like that um, makes it really interesting to me. So that's my journey into philosophy of science and that's a quick overview of what it is. And lastly, if that has interested you or if you'd like to read a little bit more about philosophy of science, uh, if you'd like to dip your toes into it and maybe just if it interests you, see if it is good. And if you'd want to study it, then I will put some links to some reading you could do in the description, some books that you might want to read to sort of whet your appetite for it, dip your toes into the world of philosophy of science because I find it so interesting and I think if you're a scientist of any sort or even if you're not, I think you can really get something out of it, it's really good. Because the way I see it, like, science is great that it's being done, but science doesn't mean anything if there's not people there to interpret it and work out what it means for all of us. And that's what philosophers of science do. Thanks for watching, hope that's maybe got you interested, and I will see you soon. Bye!